Hey everyone, welcome back to DSP lecture series. We have already studied how to find the energy and average power of a signal in the last video. Now let us define an energy signal and a power signal. So let's start our lecture. A signal is referred to as an energy signal if and only if its total energy is finite. Or in other words, we have 0 less than E less than infinity. A necessary condition for the energy of a signal to be finite is that the signal amplitude must approach 0 as the length of the sequence approaches plus or minus infinity. That is, x of n should tends to 0 as n tends to plus or minus infinity. In other words, Energy signals only have values in limited time duration. For example, a signal having only one pulse is an energy signal. Another example is an exponentially decaying signal as it has finite energy. Here, an important thing to keep in mind is that average power of an energy signal is zero. This is because of dividing finite energy by infinite length. Okay. Now keep in mind that not every signal will have finite energy. If the signal energy is infinite, then the average power is more meaningful. Thus, we come to the definition of power signal. A signal is referred to as a power signal if and only if the average power of the signal is finite. Or in other words, when we have 0 less than P less than infinity. Also, the energy of a power signal is infinite as it is not limited in length. The power signal always exists from beginning to end and it never ends. For example, a sine wave of infinite length is a power signal. Ok, so the definition of energy signal and power signal can be summarized like this. Energy signal has finite total energy and zero average power. Meanwhile, power signal has finite average power and infinite total energy. Now, please note that a signal cannot be both an energy signal and a power signal. If it is one, it cannot be the other. However, there are signals that are neither an energy signal nor a power signal. Also keep in mind that no physical signal can have infinite energy or infinite average power. But in signal analysis, according to strict mathematical definitions, signals such as sinusoidal have infinite energy. Therefore, periodic signals and random signals are viewed as power signals whereas signals that are deterministic and non-periodic are usually viewed as energy signal. Also, keep in mind that every signal observed in real life is an energy signal as it is impossible to generate infinite energy signals in nature. Now, let us take some signals and classify them as energy signal, power signal or neither of them. The first signal is x of n equal to 4 for n greater than 0. Here, as per the definition we have learned for energy, the energy of the signal E is equal to sigma n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity magnitude of x of n squared which is sigma n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity 4 squared and this is equal to 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 4 squared and the length of the sequence is infinite therefore the summation is also infinite. Now let's see the average power. The definition of average power is P is equal to limit capital N tends to infinity 1 by 2N plus 1 sigma n equal to minus n to plus n magnitude of x of n squared. Now here as the signal exists only for n greater than 0 this equation modifies to limit n tends to infinity 1 by n sigma n equal to 1 to n magnitude of x of n squared. And this is limit n tends to infinity 
1 by n into 4 squared plus 4 squared plus etc for n times and as you know we can write repeated addition as multiplication therefore this becomes limit capital N tends to infinity 1 by n into 4 squared into n and these n's cancel out which gives us 4 squared or 16. So as you can see the energy of the signal is infinite while the power is finite. So this is a power signal because infinite energy and finite power. Now let us see the second signal. We have x of n equal to 1 by 4 raised to n into u of n. Here u of n means the signal is defined only for n greater than or equal to 0. Therefore x of n equal to 1 by 4 raised to n for n greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0. Here energy is equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity magnitude of 1 by 4 raised to n squared which is equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity magnitude of 1 by 4 raised to 2n which is equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity magnitude of 1 by 16 raised to n. If you see this expression on the RHS is a geometric series. Therefore we have 1 by 1 minus 1 by 16 which is equal to 15 by 16. So energy is finite and consequently average power will be 0 because average power is equal to total energy by total length which is equal to 15 by 16 by infinity because n ranges from 0 to infinity therefore this is 0. So we have average power equal to 0 and energy is finite therefore this is an energy signal. Now let us see the case for this sequence x of n is equal to 3 into minus 1 raised to n for n greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for n less than 0. The energy of the signal E is equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity magnitude of 3 into minus 1 raised to n squared which is equal to sigma n equal to 0 to infinity magnitude of 9 into minus 1 raised to 2n which is 9n plus 9n plus 9n plus etc and the length of the sequence is infinite which means energy is infinite. Now let us take a look at the average power of the signal. We have average power is equal to limit capital N tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 into sigma n equal to minus n to plus n x of n squared which will be limit capital N tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 sigma n equal to 0 to capital N magnitude of 3 into minus 1 raised to n squared which is equal to limit capital N tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 sigma n equal to 0 to n into 9 because minus 1 raised to 2n is always 1. Therefore we have limit capital N tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 into 9n plus 9n plus etc plus 9n and the length of this sequence will be capital N plus 1 a small n ranges from 0 to capital N. So we can write limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 
into 9 times n plus 1 and this will be 4.5 times limit n tends to infinity 2 times n plus 1 by 2n plus 1 or 4.5 times limit capital N tends to infinity 2n plus 1 plus 1 by 2n plus 1 or 4.5 times limit capital N tends to infinity 2n plus 1 by 2n plus 1 plus 1 by 2n plus 1. Here this numerator and denominator cancel out giving us 1 and as this capital N tends to infinity this term will become 0. Therefore we have 4.5 into 1 plus 0 or 4.5. So for this signal we have finite average power and infinite total energy. Therefore this is a power signal. Now to summarize this lecture we learned that energy signal has finite total energy and zero average power while power signal has finite average power and infinite total energy. I hope that all the concepts that were taught in this video are clear to all of you. If you have any doubts feel free to ask them in the comments. Either we or some other viewer will surely help you. If you found this lecture useful, please like the video and also support us by subscribing to the channel. In the next video, we will study about some typical sequences like impulses, unit steps, etc. Thank you for watching Topperly and have a great day.